Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to do my October monthly haul. Now, I went pretty ham this month. I'm not gonna lie, like I didn't do this much damage in September as I did in October. Well, at first I thought October didn't have any launches. Like I really honestly thought October was not gonna be filled with any launches, which is why I didn't upload a wish list because I was like, no, there's not gonna be anything coming out in October. October is gonna be a slow month and a lot of things ended up coming out in October as well as some things that I may have purchased at the end of September came in. So I'm gonna be showing you guys all of that today. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, make sure you, you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below and turn on your post notifications so you guys never miss an upload and without further ado let's get right into the video i'm going to start off with some things that i purchased during the sephora friends and family sale this was all possible thanks to kuma pants because she said that well she had asked on instagram who wanted a code for the friends and family sale. So this happened around October 9th and I ended up picking up some things that I wanted to pick up for the BIB sale, which is happening, well, the holiday sale, which is currently happening. So yeah, I pretty much got everything that I wanted to get because I had already had these things in my cart for a while now and I was waiting for a 20% off coupon. So I did pick up the Makeup by Mario Master Matte Eyeshadow Palette. If you guys would like to see me getting ready, I did I did do a look with this palette. So this is what the palette looks like. It comes in a really nice matte sleek package and then the palette is all white and it says by Mario and then every single shade name is just matte 1, matte 5, matte 3. So yeah, it's just like a bunch of different mattes and then the numbers. So this is what the palette looks like. I know it's pretty boring. It is just a neutral palette. But I really love Mario and this was like the only thing that was really catching my eye. And um, I know that this is something that he's been working towards. So I was really excited to pick up a few items. The other thing that I picked up was this Master Secret Glow. And this is supposed to be a highlighter but it's like a clear, it's literally clear. Um, and it's so cute. It's so tiny. And this is what the highlighter looks like. But yeah, it's just a clear little highlighter. If I don't know how to use it, I will be returning it just because I sometimes suck at learning how to use things like this. So yeah, those are the two items that I picked up from his line. He has released a shimmer, like he's released a lot of other products, but these so far are the things that have been calling out to me. So... I just picked up those two. Then from Rare Beauty, I decided to pick up a highlighter as well as a blush. So I picked up the Positive Light Liquid Luminizer, and this is in the shade Enlighten. Now, I love Selena Gomez, and I've been waiting for Rare Beauty, so I really wanted to pick this up. It's such a pretty champagne. Like, I just think it's so pretty. I really like her packaging, by the way. I think it's super cute. So, yeah, I picked up this illuminizer and then i also wanted to pick up the joy blush um and i actually really like this blush i did use it for a get ready with me and it's so freaking cute it's so cute and it i just love it and you can pick this up in like a little uh set um at sephora they have like a set that comes with a couple other products from their brand yeah i just thought it was super cute so then um i also did pick up the new huda beauty minis so the huda beauty naughty palette comes out tomorrow well the day that i'm filming this it comes out tomorrow so i'm super excited to get my hands on that one but i did pick up these little minis so the first one is sand haze and this one is just like the more mauvey toned one this one is super freaking pretty i really like it it does have five mattes and four shimmers in here but they're really really pretty i just think it's such a stunning little palette and i really like all the color stories that she's put out in these little minis and then i also so got the khaki which looks like this this one is supposed to be like the most well this one i've heard is like the most popular one it's like an olive toned palette and again it's super freaking stunning i've seen a lot of people really rave about this so i'm super excited to try this one out and then finally we have the purple haze super freaking cute i really really like this one as well 
And yeah, I picked up those three. I've been wanting those, so I decided to wait for the sale. I usually always wait for the sale to buy like Huda Beauty products, especially because they are a little bit expensive. Um, says the girl that buys like makeup all the time. Something I did pick up during the friends and family sale is the Violet Voss See You Later palette. So this is what the palette looks like. I did have a gift card as well as uh, the 20% off coupon. So I decided to get this one and it's so freaking cute. I really love like all the blue tones in here and I'm just really a big fan of the Flamingo palette. So when I saw this one, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna pick it up and it's super freaking nice. I like the mattes and the shimmers in this palette. So I did decide to get this one. And for all of you guys that want like a closer look this is what it looks like it's super colorful and really pretty and i just really like it so the last thing that i picked up was the ole henriksen cold plunge pore mask clay and slow lotus extract um so yeah i actually you have to just apply it to your face for 15 minutes and i use it on myself and on my boyfriend and i feel like it leaves like a super cooling sensation on your face just leaves you like really fresh and your face super soft so i really really have been a fan of it and i really like it it was 38 dollars so that 20 percent off coupon definitely makes a difference and is why i purchased it during that time but i believe it's everything from sephora um i also did pick up the pat mcgrath palette the celestial divinity but that arrived damaged so i'm still on the fence if i want to order another one i did get a refund for that one because they're always sending me broken stuff so i was just like you know what, well, I'll kind of wait on it. I did see it. I wasn't too... Like, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just still on the fence about it. Let's move on to Cara Beauty. I did pick up their magazine collection. So, I picked up the... Um, this one is the Make a Statement palette. So, this is what this palette looks like. It's super freaking cute. I love the shades in here. Um, these are like their first palettes that I've seen that come with like a face product inside like these have a blush and like a highlighter you could also use the bronzer but for me um yeah it's like a really pretty like golden highlight if you wanted to like put this all over your body when you're having like a tan super cute i really like it so then we have the starry eyes and this is what this one looks like i love the color story of this one it also has some face products this one has more of a blush and then a bronzer and then last but not least we have poetry of love which is so cute and this one is more of like their mauve toned palette so yeah this one has a little bit more neutrals as well as a blush and almost like a highlighter i'll have to see how that shows up on my skin but i'm really excited i think the packaging is so freaking cute so yeah care beauty always gets me now we're moving on to some things I picked up on Beauty Bay. Uh, Beauty Bay has been going in for the girls. Like, they are coming for your neck. And I'm just like, what are you guys going to release next? Because honestly, like, it's all been exciting. First of all, they restocked the Naked Tutorials X Beauty Bay palette, which looks like this. This is the dark side, and this is the lighter side. It's super fun and playful. Um... I haven't gotten a chance to play around with this because I've literally been waiting to film this haul and I know that's really bad because it should have been uploaded a review but if you guys do want to hear my thoughts I can totally still upload that video for you guys um, I believe it's still in stock I'll definitely let you guys know if it's still in stock on the screen but I also did pick up the Beauty Bay Book of Magic so yeah this is what the palette looks like it's purples, blues, and a little bit of browns here and there this is such a stunning palette. I cannot wait to play with this. It is so freaking stunning. And then finally, I did do a look with this palette. This is the Sunset Horizons. You guys, get out of town. Like, this palette is so freaking stunning. I'm obsessed. I think it's so cute. I just got it. This is more of like the most recent launches, but they do ship super fast. So if you guys aren't aware, Juvia's Place did release their Wahala 2 palette, which looks like this. And it's like the smallest pants I've ever seen and it's squared. I feel like um, they don't do squared pants, they've done only brown. So this is very unique for them. I don't know if this is going to be happening for all of their newer launches. But yeah, I think it's super cute. It does have 4 shimmers, um, 11 mattes, and 15 shimmers. So yes, it has a lot of shimmers in here some glitters and as well as some mattes and more shimmers than mattes so 
yeah i'm super excited though i think this column is like everything you would need for a blue look and then you have your warms your like silvers and your like purples and pinks so yeah it's super cute i definitely think the color story of the wahala the first one called to me more but i did want to pick this one up next i picked up some things from ulta so i did pick up the bh cosmetics weekend vibes this is a blueberry muffin palette i really really wanted this especially after and jessica said that this was like such a good palette so this is like a blue cool toned palette and maybe like a little bit ago i would have not been so interested in this but after playing with the ColourPop cold stone fox i feel like cool tones are going to be one of my new favorites so yeah i saw this palette i thought it was super nice so i did pick up this one and i just really like all of their little squared um palettes i think they're really cute and then speaking of bh i also picked up their naughty 30 color shadow palette so this is what this palette looks like they did have this one um, online. I literally purchased it before I even purchased the, like before they even announced it on Trend Mood and everything. I was scrolling through new arrivals and I saw this and I thought it was really, really pretty. And again, kind of like the only palette I've seen that actually represents like the holidays. I feel like every other holiday collab has been kind of off, but this one definitely did it for me. Last but not least, from Ulta, I picked up the... Actually, I have one more thing from Ulta, but I did pick up the Madison Beer um, X Morphe Collab, the Channel Surfing Palette. I still have it in its packaging. The only one that has its packaging still. Alright guys, so I know that that video ended kind of abruptly, but that's because I was getting ready to go out and run some errands, so I had to stop the video and then continue... Um, it at a later time i thought i was going to be able to record it that same night but i got way too busy so yeah i'm really really sorry about that so this video will be with me in this shirt and this makeup look so yes but if you guys are interested in this makeup look i also did record it and it should be up um either before or after this video but always uh just like check up on the cards i should have it linked up over there so yes i'm gonna keep going with what i had talked about so this was the morphe madison beer channel surfing artistry palette now this is what the palette looks like it just has like a bunch of neutrals um you know and i heard that this palette was really really good a lot of people were really a fan of it i haven't tried it on my eyes yet so i still have to determine if it's a palette that is really worth the hype but i really do like the color story of it so i decided to pick it up i believe it does retail for 22 dollars and yeah i'm really excited to get to play with it so then um during the month of october they were having a coupon that you get ten dollars off of a forty dollar purchase if you do pick it up in store so i decided to save that coupon and use it on the Too faced pumpkin spice palette which looks like this um it's such a gorgeous palette so i know that i have majority of the Too faced palettes at one point i didn't own all of them but i have decluttered some scents but this palette is so freaking nice i have used it and i really like it um I use this shade called Oh My Gerd. That's like such a weird name, but yeah, it is like really chunky. But overall, when I played around with this palette on my eyes, it wasn't that bad. And I really love the smell. I'm just a really big fan of the last kind of Thanksgiving or kind of fall inspired Too Faced palettes, I should say. And I was really excited about this one. And it has a lot of mattes. So I really, really like that. So that is pretty much everything that I picked up from Ulta. Now we're going to move over to a couple of other random brands that I purchased from. So this is actually the Pure X Raw Beauty Christie Double Sided Press Pigment Palette. I did buy this at the end of September, but I did decide to just like show it to you guys in this haul because I obviously had to wait for it to get shipped out. This is the neutral side and this is what it looks like. It has really pretty browns. And I really like the more mustard and like coral tone in here and then this mauve. And I just think it's really, really pretty. I love how she did all majority mattes and then one shimmer in the middle. The same goes for the other side. So we have 
all of these matte colorful shades and then one shimmer in the middle and I really really do enjoy the colorful side a lot I did play around with some of the shades in here and I really really liked it I'm gonna move on to something I picked up randomly at Shop Miss A when I was at the mall the other day so I picked up the over the rainbow palette so this is an all matte eyeshadow palette and it's mainly colorful shades so you get some purples blues greens some yellows and then like some browns so it's a really pretty palette um, it was only ten dollars so I'm really excited to play with it this formula feels really really smooth and I hope that it is really pigmented because I really did want to try it out and see if it was good for the price that it was so yeah I have seen some people do looks with these palettes on YouTube but I definitely would like to give this one a try so moving on to Midas Cosmetics we have their volume 1 and volume 2 artistry eyeshadow palette so they came out with a volume 1 for lighter skin tones and a volume 2 for deeper skin tones which I love that so the deeper skin toned is this palette and this is the lighter skin toned palette so let me just open them up so you guys can see them in comparison so this is the volume one and this is the volume two they all have one shimmer and then five mattes so it's really really nice and I know that they are very similar like obviously they're just supposed to be a little bit darker but I really did um, think that they were unique enough to get both so yeah I feel like I could use this one like all over my crease and then like deepen it up like I have that option and I believe she is working on a second I believe they are working on coming out with a second version of this so I'm kind of excited they did tease something the other day about it so yeah each palette does retail for $15 I believe and you can use a 20% off coupon code with an affiliate that you may know so make sure to use that discount next I have a couple of palettes I ordered off of Colourpop as well as some blushes so I did get the Hocus Pocus gather around sisters pressed powder palette now this is what the palette looks like super freaking pretty this palette well this shade right here is like a glitter pigment um it doesn't really swatch like a glitter and it doesn't really swatch like a shimmer but it's a really unique formula and i really cannot wait to play around with this um i know halloween is over but i'm a huge fan of hocus pocus and I really, really am excited to play around with it. It's still a really pretty grungy fall palette. And then I also did pick up the Low Ray of Sunshine Pressed Powder Palette, which is just like their matte mustardy palette. Um, again, really, really pretty. I wish I would have gone with the sandstone now that I looked at it. Like once I saw it in person, I was like, I should have just gone in sandstone because I was only a couple dollars away from getting it and I feel like I had more variety of shades. But yeah, um, it's too late to go back now, but I do think it's a really cute palette. I did actually end up buying two um, of the Sailor Moon blushes. So I did pick up Cat's Eye, which is more of like their shimmer blush. I don't know if you guys can see it has like a little bit of shimmer in it. Yeah, you guys can see it a lot there, but yeah, that's uh, that blush. And then I also did pick up From the Moon, and this is their matte blush super pretty and yeah I think the packaging is super cute like it moves and it's super nice so love that it's just like the palette next we're gonna move on to some hip dot so I did pick up two uh, palettes from hip dot this month I picked up the well last month I picked up the Tapatio uh, collaboration palette that they did so one is called El Dorado which is the gold one and this one actually has three shimmers and two mattes as well as one pressed glitter and honestly I'm so obsessed with the color story I know it's nothing groundbreaking but it is really really pretty and I just wanted to support them because I know that it's a pretty big thing to be collaborating with Tapatio. It's really well known. And even though it's not my personal favorite in hot sauces, I really, really wanted to get these because I thought they were super cute. And I also did pick up the La Diabla palette, which is a little bit more warm tone. This one does have three mattes, like three complete mattes. And then this one has a little bit of glitter in it, but nothing too crazy. And then it has one shimmer and one pressed glitter. So yeah, I've heard Hip Dot has really, really nice pressed glitters. So, so that's nice. Um, and you can purchase those palettes on Ulta as well. So next we have this Black Moon Cosmetics 
um, Urban Mist palette. Now this palette was super unique to me. Um, I know that Black Moon Cosmetics um, hasn't really released a palette this year. Um, they have like a full matte palette and it's neutral and then they have a full shimmer palette and it's a little bit more bright but not, nothing like too crazy it's just really pretty shimmers but once i saw this one i thought it was really really nice i like how it has one whole row of matte and one whole row of shimmer and they're kind of like you know coordinated with one another like a blue shimmer and then a blue matte so yeah i was super excited to get around to play with this so yeah this one's really really nice and I think it's super pretty and okay so next and that palette I believe does retail for $30 exactly so we're gonna move on to some beauty creations I've been wanting these palettes for so long um, they released I think in August or July but I was just like no I'll wait for a sale and a sale never came or when it did I missed it but for Halloween, they were having a 31% off, so I decided to get them then. So the first one I have here is the green one, the neon green. So this is what the palette looks like. Um, it has a lot of shimmers in here versus the other ones. Um, the other ones have less shimmers and a little bit more matte, but I do like them. This one, personally, I wish they would have added a different shade because these three shades right here look very similar when you swatch them so yeah it's just like one has chunkier glitter another one has more fine shimmer and one's more of a shimmer but they almost look identical so yeah that's kind of weird but i still decided to get it the next one is balmy f and this is the neon pink one so again we have one pressed glitter and then we have a shimmer so yeah, this one has one pressed glitter, a couple of shimmers, and a whole lot of mattes, which I really, really like, especially because these two more violet shades are matte, and yeah, I'm just like super excited to play with these. They're so freaking pretty, but the best one of them all is Bossy, and this is the Neon Orange palette, so yes, this one is so freaking pretty. Again, one pressed glitter, four shimmers, and then the rest is all matte. I cannot wait to play with this palette. I love oranges, and this is right up my alley. It's just like a really fun twist to oranges. I really like this one. Now we're going to move on to a couple of lip products. So I did pick up some things from Artist Couture. He was having a sale recently for the birthday of his brand. He was having a 30% off sale. I decided to get some of his favorites. So this is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Loose Powder Highlighter. Mac Daddy's always using this one. And he used it in combination with Illuminati, which is one of the ones that I have. And it just has like this really pretty shimmer. It is so freaking stunning. Um, yeah, I just think it's so cute. And I love um, how he glows. He's just always glowing. And then I also did pick up three other lip products. So I did pick up some of his lipsticks this one is called boy toy which i'll swatch it on my hands so you guys can see it's such a pretty lipstick you guys and i also did pick up angel baby which is more nude and i'm actually wearing that one on my um lips today but yeah so this is boy toy and this is angel baby and then last but not least we have a little bit of shameless which is like a mauvey toned gloss if you guys can see it but it is so pretty i love this on top of a mauve lip it just like brings it all together and makes it look so plump and luscious and i love his glosses i definitely recommend them i forgot to include this as part of my ultra haul but i did pick up the nude 3 um lipstick from kkw beauty and i'll go ahead and swatch this one right here it's still really pretty nude in between like what boy toy and angel baby would be so yeah, I really, really like this lipstick. I've used it a lot during this month. So that is pretty much everything that I picked up. Um, I know that it is a lot of things that I picked up during this month. A lot of things ended up coming out. Again, some things ended up going on sale, so I decided to jump on it and get something um, from the sites that I did see go on sale. But yeah, for the most part, um, I don't feel like November is going to be like that crazy i feel like i'm gonna get a lot of the launches that i still haven't gotten from october 
um, and just like pre-orders and stuff. But for the most part, I feel like November is going to be a little bit more calm. I am going to, I am planning on getting the Mel Beetlejuice collection, but I feel like it shouldn't be too crazy but we'll see. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it, subscribe to my channel down below and turn on your post notifications so you guys never miss an upload. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye.